So I told them, let's triple up on it, he tells people. It ain't no budget. Rick Ross may be the biggest boss, but he's certainly not the tallest. Back in October, the Maybach Music Group founder, 47, went viral for bestowing a chain with his label's name on none other than Shaquille O'Neal. And now, he's describing exactly what went into customizing a necklace for a man who stands at 7'1". For one, you gotta make sure you get those flawless emeralds. Then that piece got to go with, this is somebody who's seven feet tall, so his piece will look a lot smaller on him than if I wore it, Ross tells people. So I told them, let's triple up on it. It ain't no budget. This for the big homie, Shaq Diesel, Shaq Fu. You know what I mean? As Ross explains, he opted for a bigger pendant and made sure the Cuban link was a lot thicker. But man, it was well worth it, he says. And it felt good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad the homie enjoyed it. He kept texting me for the next. While O'Neill, 51, and Ross talk about a lot of different things over text, including franchising and a few of their other power moves, one thing they've connected over recently is their shared abilities on the mic. As part of Ross and Meek Mill's November album, Too Good to Be True, the musicians united with both O'Neill and fellow NBA star Damian Lillard for a remix of single Shaq and Kobe. The collaboration comes three decades after Ross first bought Shaq's debut LP, Shaq Diesel, in 1993. His first thought, this really an artist. And the more familiar I got with him, you saw him collaborating with New York MCs, and it just went on and on, he says. So I respect his gift. So him getting on our joint, him respecting my talent, me putting that Maybach music piece around his neck, man, that meant a lot. You know what I'm saying? That meant a lot to Rosé. For more on Rick Ross, pick up the latest issue of People, available on newsstands everywhere now.